Minasan, Okarina Sai. Today we have one of the sweetest, most kindest people around. Someone who is somewhat underrated, but yet everyone acknowledges her talents. Kanako Takatsuki, born on September 25th, 1995, in Kobe within the Hyogo Prefecture. And apparently she currently lives in Shinjuku City. Also affiliated with Amuse, I say that as a question because I don't remember any announcement of her leaving, but they have removed her from their YouTube banner. She lived in Kansai for 15 years, but claims that she cannot speak in the Kansai dialect. Aside from here, she has also lived in Ibaraki, as well as Osaka. After graduating from middle school, King went to the Himarari Theater Group, where she studied acting. She debuted as a singer in September of 2012 with the release of her song Banjo Cinderella no Shiruke no Aru Onagai. She has also went by the name Kako on Nico Nico and did a bunch of covers of popular songs like This Game, which is the opening theme for No Game No Life. In 2015, she began her career as a seiyu with the multimedia project Love Live Sunshine as Hanomaru Kunikita, joining the live action Aqua and their subunit Azalea. With that unit, I recommend Tori Koriko Please. Almost forgot to mention, with Aqua, I recommend Mitaken Horizon. Definitely watch the live version from the 9th Anniversary Fest. 2017, her along with the rest of Aqua won the singing award at the 11th Seiyu Awards. But then she had her second anime role, Ayano Kato, in Love and Lies. Good show. On June 10th, 2019, King Chan announced that she has formed a group of her own called Bloody, alongside her fellow Amuse member, Karin Isobe, with her as a lead singer and costume designer. They released their first song, Kono Hoshi no Doko Kare. In 2020, she released her second single, Anti-World, which was the opening theme for I'm Standing on a Million Lives, also voicing the minor character Majiha Purple, even having an insert song performance with Ai Furihata. And expanding her resume again, she voiced Kaori Kono in the vampire slapstick anime of Lad Love, and her group Bloody did the first opening theme, titled Where You Are. Her alongside Ida and Aina took over hosting duties for Ura Raji for a year or so before it went back to Kyan, Furi, and Shuka. And now it's time to get a little serious for a minute. In December of 2020, Kinchan couldn't perform during Aqua's online live White Island due to personal health concerns. And then later in August of 2021, it was revealed that she had been diagnosed with adjustment disorder, which prevented her from performing in Azalea's first and second solo lives. She resumed her Aqua activities with the Aqua Dreamy concert at the end of 2021 and has been at every live ever since. Really happy she's doing better, her smile is very precious, and we must protect it. When she resumed her activities in 2021, she had her third single, Subversive, which is the ending theme for the second season of I'm Standing on a Million Lives. Also her first EP, titled King of Annie Sun. With Bloody, she had two double singles and their first album, Future Wings. 2022, her song Before the Nightmare was the ending theme for black rock shooter Dawnfall. Bloody held their last performance on March 18th and all members but her officially graduated. In 2023, King Chan will be restarting her group for a new anime project. Her only video game roles aside from Love Live are King's Raid and the PS4 game Tokuden 2. She alongside the other Aqua members have made appearances at the Animax Music Festivals and Animelo Summer Music Festival many times from 2017 to 2019. Her group Bloody has had a small handful of lives and her herself has had a couple solo lives as well. Well, I guess they are more classified as solo performances rather than full-on lives. Unfortunately, that's it for her resume, so let's get into some fun facts about her. She is 165.5 centimeters, or 5 foot 5. Her fan club is Takatsuki Kingdom. She has herself a Twitter, a music YouTube, Instagram, and an Instagram for her animals. Her dog named Tenchan, and two cats. The orange one is Ranma, while the other is Shampoo. She also has two sisters, one older and one younger. Her nickname for a long time was King, but a few years ago she said she wanted to be referred to as Kin or Kinchan now. But sometimes I still find myself accidentally calling her King. Kinchan is the tallest of all the Aqua Seiyu, as well as the tallest of all the Love Live main Seiyus in general, which is ironic since Hanamaru is the shortest in Aqua. She actually didn't even audition for Hanamaru and says that she thinks she read lines for Chika and Riko. She also says she had no singing or dancing experience prior to joining Aqua, well at least no professional training. Back in the day, all the first years even had matching slippers. And with the release of Kuru Kuru Kruler, it is King's favorite Aqua song, though that may be just a recency bias. She used to play PlayStation for Dengeki PlayStation in their Nico Nico Live community. In her spare time, she really enjoys gaming, especially zombie themed games, as well as anime, guitar, and foreign drama. She has a YouTube channel where you can watch her play games, and she uses a live cam feed as well. I strongly recommend her playthrough of Resident Evil Village. It was a lot of fun watching that. Prior to her professional career, she used to work in a singing idol bar in Akihabara. She also worked as a part-time maid in an Annie Song Cafe, a shop where maids sing anime songs. She was also part of an Annie Song cover band named Lunchpack Murders. Fantastic name. 
She even has a recorded live show in a karaoke booth. She sang alongside her friend and an ex-co-worker in Akihabara. She enjoys the cosplay and likes to join other cosplayers in Tokyo. Judging by her old cosplay of Niko Yazawa and the many merchandise items she has hanging in her home, it is very likely that she was already a fan of both Love Live and Idolmaster prior to joining the industry. She is a very big fan of Lisa and has sang many covers of her songs and performed them at live events. She is also a big fan of AKB48 and even thought about entering the group prior to joining Aqua. She has even gone to handshake events for the member Haruna Kojima. She listens to K-pop and is a big fan of the group twice, her favorite member being Dayun. She is actually very interested in Korean culture as a whole and she usually tries to dress in their style. Her favorite food is a chicken cartilage. She also appears to like curry a lot to the point where she would eat curry 4 days a week. As for specifics, she likes Indian and Thai curry, but also liking liver and popcorn. Her disliked foods are shiitake mushrooms and carrots, even having Awesome eat them for her during the third live tour. These last few facts didn't really have a theme so they're all here towards the ending. Her original Twitter, web blog, and Facebook accounts were shortly removed after the information about her joining Love Live Sunshine was leaked. The season she likes the most is autumn and claims that she can handle the heat better than the cold. She also loves the smell of the forest, and as for her favorite colors, she said she doesn't really have one, just saying she likes whatever color she's feeling at that moment. She isn't really good at sports, but likes running, and is a dog person rather than a cat person, despite having more cats than dogs. She loves shonen battle manga, but also golden kamui. The American movie Grease is her favorite movie of all time, claiming it to be her bible. She claims that honesty is both her greatest strength and her biggest weakness, and she is also weak to bugs. She was on Airi Suzuki and Masayoshi Oishi's Annie Song cover show, singing Triangular, the opening for Macross Frontier. She is a big fan of Western media, usually posting about Netflix shows, like Umbrella Academy or Stranger Things. And finally, when asked what's something she does when she first wakes up, she replied, I go back to sleep. And while King is a very relatable person, but that fact right there, that one wins. And with that, we have reached the ending. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one where I'll be going over our favorite sleepy otter. I hope to see you there.